What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video <laughs> by me. So today, I'm so pumped guys because they just released footage of all the freaking stuff for the newest Dragon Ball Tenkaichi 4 or technically Dragon Ball Sparking. <laughs> and everything I've seen so far is absolutely stunning. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 4 down in the comments. And get the likes up, and as always, hit the subscribe button for more epic videos every single week, guys. Stay positive. <laughs> Roll the intro. Let's go. <laughs> That gets me so pumped. <laughs> I'm so ready for this, guys. I cannot wait to play the next Tenkaichi 4 or, you know, Sparking. You know, whatever they freaking are calling it. <laughs> they should have just called it Tenkaichi 4. I don't know. I have always been a huge fan of the Dragon Ball series and the fighting games. I played Budokai 1, Budokai 2, 3, all the Tenkaichis. I even had some of the Game Boy stuff. <laughs> and you can say I'm a huge freaking fan. I have not got to play the freaking MMO. And I just seen that the other day. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> because I've been wanting a Dragon Ball Z MMO forever and I still have to go try it. <laughs> I guess it got cancelled back in like 2012 and I never heard about it. It was like some Korean freaking MMO and now there's like a private server for it and I want to freaking try it out because it looks absolutely crazy. You know what I mean? I have always wanted a DBZ freaking MMO. What about you guys? Everything I've seen so far in this game though gets me so pumped to freaking play it when it comes out. Hopefully, this year, I got my fingers crossed, you know what I mean? <laughs> because there's just so many other amazing games coming out. And it's freaking bright over there because I don't have my freaking sunglasses. <laughs> so I gotta squint some. But I'm trying to get some content out for you guys. The graphics are absolutely crazy. The combat looks absolutely freaking stunning. I cannot wait to get into it and just start fighting random people. And I already know they're gonna stuff it full of characters for the show and I'm so pumped to see all the different things they can do, the different abilities, you know what I mean? Because that was one of the things about the Tenkaichi games is there were so many freaky characters and you know the Budokai games were different in their own right because they were more 2D, 3D, you know what I mean? They were just kind of 2D fighting as Tenkaichi was more just open map and just let you kind of roam around and fight people. <laughs> but they're both amazing and I love them both in their own way. What do you guys think? Which is better, Budokai or Tenkaichi? <laughs> I'm a fan of both. And I even played the original Xbox game. I think it was called Dragon Ball something, but it was like we just get to run around. It wasn't Budokai 3 or anything. It wasn't even Tenkaichi, it was like Dragon Ball something. I just remember playing it and it was like a, you start off like a planet Namek or whatever, and there's like Frieza and stuff. I don't remember what it's called. Let me know down in the comments. But it was not like the mainline Budokai series or even Tenkaichi. And it was on the original Xbox back in the day. Maybe 360 if I remember correctly. I just don't remember the name of it. There's been so many freaking Dragon Ball Z games. That's for sure. <laughs> Which one of you guys favorites? Let me know down in the comments. I am so ready for this game. Everything is so stunning. I cannot wait to get into the freaking story. And just explore all the game. And find all the secrets and stuff. Man, I am so ready for another DBZ game. And I'm gonna miss Akira every freaking day he's gone. But thankfully, you know what I mean? Just like the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! There's all these people that are just as passionate about all their stuff as they were. <laughs> so we have amazing artists, you know, we have amazing people pushing, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! and all the other stuff. Not just those two things, but we still have amazing people pushing Yu-Gi-Oh! VR. And I am so ready to freaking try it because I've always wanted Yu-Gi-Oh! to go VR. It's like my biggest dream, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you know, they're right there and they're already working on it. I've seen a video of it <laughs> and I cannot wait to try it because me and VR, you know, I'm kind of excited for it, but then I'm not, you know, I kind of want it to be at like Sword Art Online where you could just 
put on the thing and you know zone I lock it to the MMO or whatever <laughs> that's the point when I'm gonna get excited for it <laughs> I hopefully will not be killed though you know what I mean because if you guys have seen sword art it basically locks them in the game and if they die in the game they get killed in real life so I uh, Fingers crossed, you know, <laughs> hoping that doesn't happen to me. But I cannot wait for that day. I'm pretty sure, you know, the next 10 years or so, it's going to get there. <laughs> what do you guys think, though? Let me know down in the freaking comments. But as always, say though, guys, if you guys need positivity in your days, you can come check my backlog, watch all my videos. You know what I mean? I try to make uplifting content for all of you amazing people out there to keep your spirits up <laughs> and get through the day just like I am because this life is designed tear you down and build you back up you're gonna make it through guys I promise <laughs> you can watch anime you can put in a video game like I have I've literally played hundreds of games you're gonna make it through the day just focus on the 10% of the good you know in each day instead of the bad because it's gonna be bad days but I promise you know all this tough stuff you go through in this life is gonna build you guys up and make you stronger <laughs> Go check my backlog. I've got over 300 awesome 4K videos that I've made with my heart and soul just for you guys. <laughs> but as always, though, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Stay positive. <laughs> I'm out.